I am a uh, Swedish, now living in New Orleans girl. And my name is Teresa Anderson. Hello. I moved there several years ago and I just felt like I'd come home. I just felt this very strong connection with the R&B and the soul music of New Orleans. Because um, it's something that I did not grow up with, let me tell you. <laughs> I love going out to the clubs, dancing to the brass bands, and hanging out. Like everybody in New Orleans play for like four hours straight when they play, so it's a whole different kind of scene. It's not about songs, it's a much more visceral experience. And uh, I think on this, on this last record, I really started dipping into some of that through my writing and the sampling and stuff. Someone asked me to come to Sweden to tour one summer a couple years ago and uh, couldn't afford to bring a whole band. Now I'm terrible with just a guitar, so I just I couldn't present myself like that. So I really wanted to be able to sing and play violin, which are my main instruments. And so I got this one first. This was my first baby here. First little loop pedal. And uh, I started working out songs on it, found that I loved harmonizing with myself and I could work out a bunch of fun ideas that way. For, for this record, some of the things happened while I was looping and so they inspired a song like how I sampled Smokey Johnson or on Na 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 the drum groove came by recording on the loop pedal. But uh, I'm just going to write the best music I can write and then I'll figure it out later how to perform it. And, and that kind of presents a problem a little bit or, or you know when I'm rehearsing because it takes a really long time to synchronize all the stuff in my brain. Um, I spend maybe three, four weeks on one song just to really get it in my body. So it's, it's like compressing the information and learning it just by doing it. And then that creates freedom as well to just sing, you know, on top of it and not have to think so much about what your toes are doing. <laughs> I think of this kind of like a, a, a horse, you know, I have to ride this wild horse and I have to always be alert. If I'm not alert, this thing will just throw me right off. Like for instance, on High Low that I played earlier, I start with a guitar and I record the guitar on this pedal and then halfway through the chord progression I start recording over here as well. And this is so that I can later play a chorus in the song. Um, so that way everything doesn't have to be square and force, okay? So then between that and playing the drums and picking up the violin, I'm switching like nine, ten different things in just a matter of a few bars. So there's a lot going on in my head. In the beginning, I, I did have, actually I would get headaches because I think my brain was probably growing, you know. Um, and, and I would, like everything I heard in the house on, on those first months when I was learning this equipment turned into loops in my head. You know, if the dog would scratch on the floor, that turned into a loop, and then something else would make a sound in the street, and that added to it, and just kept going. But the headaches went away, and, um, and I feel like, you know, this is a good friend of mine, you know. Thank you so much, you guys.